everyone, the Global Surveyor here and I'm out at Kenthurst today undertaking a survey for a person who's building a new house and we're going to be sitting out some retaining walls and, um, and a couple of corners of the house so they can begin the excavation. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. And uh, just remember, like and subscribe to the channel, that would be greatly appreciated. Thanks so much. Now we're just going to set up the Leica TS16 robotic total station which I'll be using today as part of the survey. Always good to have a spare battery charge. See there's the electronic bubble, nice and level, and there's a pill bubble there. Okay, we're ready to undertake the survey. Do a, a, re a, a resection, follow me. Mark for today's survey is this nail in the curb. I put in a while ago.
So after the free station or resection, <coughs> uh, I've got the results of where I'm set up now, station 2000. With the Eastings and Northings, I'm in Sydney, Australia. So that's uh, MGA 2020 coordinate zone 56. I've got a height of 100.076 metres. And the 3D quality, if you can see it, three mils. So not too bad. I like to write that in my field book too. See the 2D quality here was two mils by two, or the residuals of the free station, two mils by two mils, and the height was nothing. And they were the four stations I used, plus my benchmark, and that's the information. And I just, I like to record everything in my field book, as you can see. I do record it on there, but <clears throat> I also like to uh, keep a good track of our field notes, especially if you're measuring the things that you can't necessarily pick up with a total station, like building information and fence offsets and a few other bits and pieces. So initially what I like to do is just quickly stake out the corner and put an X marks a spot on the ground. That's the quickest way. Once I know where that is, I can then decide what sort of offset mark I'm going to use. In this case, I think just a couple of metres to the corner of this retaining wall. Okay, now we're going to go sit, put some pegs in the ground. Okay, so we've finished the survey now, and as you can see, I've got a peg here. Got a height, right. giving it a height. It's a nail in the peg there with an indicator or a stake, and it runs over to a peg on the top of the hill here, which we're going to go have a look at now. Two metres, it's a, re a reference point, two metres to the end of the retaining wall. And another retaining wall down the bottom here, as you can see. And we've got some pegs placed for a house, a couple of house corners there. This is the Australian bush for anyone who's uh, not from Australia. Wild Australian bush. Beautiful, isn't it? Some uh, yellow bloodwood trees here and ordinary bloodwood. Bloodwood you can see because they've got, looks like they're bleeding to a certain extent. And um, got a line of pegs here for a retaining wall and lines are there up that way for a retaining wall. So that's the job done. And hopefully you can see the crosshairs are positioned on the little V that I had on the pole and I've just double checked my azimuth to make sure that uh, everything is okay and it is which means I can pack up and go home well that's a wrap everyone thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video um, I'm going to head back to the office now and tomorrow I'll draw the client a sketch showing the pegs that I've placed 
and uh, that, that will enable the uh, civil contractor to come out here and start uh, constructing the retaining walls and getting the building pad ready for the builders. Uh, thanks so much again. Please like the video and subscribe to The Global Surveyor. I am The Global Surveyor and I hope you have a fantastic day. See you next time. Bye.